Hi, greetings and welcome fellow ranchers. Today we are going to be talking about Power World. Coming right up after this short intro sequence. <laughs> Hi, greetings and welcome back fellow tamers. Now, uh, one sec, hey, you, come over here a sec. There we go. Much better. I needed a new jacket because this one with the old one was a little bit wearing out. So, alright, let's have a look at this, shall we? Power World. It's been taking the game industry by storm. It has been so popular that I think it even uh, outplayed a AAA game, Call of Duty. Was it Call of Duty? I think it was. But yeah. Power World, why is it so great? Why are so many people hate on it? What's the good? What's the bad? Oh, apart from the fact that you you find these great wonderful creatures, that little pocket monsters that you can capture and train and then butcher and eat or put to work in your home factory and create tons of war crimes and even soon Looks like they might even be putting sex into the game. Sorry, I might have to beep that word out, but uh, but yeah. <laughs> Power World, it seems to be a, a very interesting game and uh, Pokemon fans and non-Pokemon fans are all complaining and giving up lots of controversy about it. Now, Sorry, this jacket, is a, this jacket is a bit new and it's a bit tight on me at the moment, but uh, we're working through that. So, what exactly is Power World? It is basically Pokemon with guns, is the uh, common phrase that's going around the internet at the moment. As I said earlier, you go out into the, you're, you're dropped in the middle of nowhere on an island that you have no clue of what's going on, and you, have, you find these monsters these little creatures all over the place. So you go find one, you do a little bit of crafting by chopping down trees, just like you did within Minecraft. When you when you first got when you first arrived in Minecraft, you wander around, hit a tree a good old couple of times, and then you make some blocks, you create a crafting table. Wait a minute, I'm talking about Power World, not Minecraft. One and the same thing, <laughs> especially at this point here. But yeah. You 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 um, create uh, you create your components. You follow the uh, you follow the quests to be able to create spheres or power spheres, a bit like Pokeballs. And then you use the Pokeballs to uh, capture Pokemon. I mean pals. I am going to get very confusing at this point. If I keep saying Pokemon and I mean pals, I do apologise because that's kind of how it seems in my head at the moment. But yeah, you go around and you have to fight to capture these pals and you level them up uh, and then they get certain moves and then they can... It's automatic how they fight. So if you start fighting another Pokemon or pal, if you start fighting another Pokemon with it, your current Pokemon out, it will then start automatically attacking and if it gets too low on health, the creatures actually dies. Now, how do I, I personally see this game as a Pokemon grown up? Uh, back in like, I think in like the 90s or the early 2000s, when Pokemon originally came out, it was aimed at kids and it's had like 20, 30, it's had a long time in active development, making sequels, uh, enhancing its story and it hasn't changed one bit in the base formula. Yes they might add a little bit here, 
a little bit of gameplay here so you, your Pokemon can now evolve into Mega Evolutions or something. But it's still the same cardboard cut and copy. It never grew up. But the people who was playing Pokemon did grow up. They was for, they, there was all sorts of questions they would ask about the Pokemon universe, such as like, if every single animal is if every single animal is a Pokemon, then what do you eat? Because you don't really get to see them eating, and you see they do eat meat. People in the Pokemon universe do eat meat, but if all the animals are Pokemon then people actually eat Pokemon and that seemed to disgust a few people but that is actually by and by exactly what happens and other other sorts of questions that people would ask is why is all the why is it only like the Pokemon that's fighting why can't the actual trainers get in if you're like if it's in a life and death situation and you're being attacked by a Pokemon what would happen if you just whip out a gun and just start blowing them to pieces? But yeah, you don't get that in the computer games. Power World is Pokemon grown up. It, is, uh, it has allowed you to actually use every single thing that we've requested or asked or talked about over the past 20 years. Building. Construction. You see in the films and in the games and in the TV series, you often see a lot of Pokemon just doing manual hard labour. But in the actual games, you can't do that. All the Pokemon do in your actual games is just basically um, fight other Pokemon. You can't actually use them. There is no gameplay development. They're, they're, as I said before, Pokemon never really expanded its gameplay or whatever you can actually do. It never expanded its engine, never expanded its mechanics. But as I said, Power World actually did that. It gave you every it gives you everything that you ever wanted to do in Pokemon when you were a kid 20 years ago. So, what's the actual problem with Power World? A lot of people think that a lot of people say that there is too many similarities with Pokemon. And yeah, it's right, there are a lot of similarities. But that's a Japanese thing, not just necessarily a Pokemon thing. Yeah, I can say, well, Digimon was the same thing as Pokemon. It's just instead of monsters, it was using digital, com digital, um, digital creatures. Uh, and yeah, there were many other things out there, but that is not why they're similarities. In the Japanese culture, you have certain type of monsters or creatures or lore um, that is very similar. Basically, Pokemon got a lot of its things, a lot of its, uh, lot, lot of its designs and creatures' ideas from their own mythologies. Not, not all the Pokemon, when they originally came out, was base but was just made up out of the air they they were designed from certain mythoses and for and also it's not just pokemon that did that you had like final fantasy they they had like um certain tentacle monsters that you would find not just in final fantasy but you'll find in other games and dungeons and dragons like the, the beholder was a particular monster that was a fan favorite the basilisks you see them all over the place, not just in one particular game, but in entire franchise or different franchises. So, copying designs and styles and ideas, it's not just Power World that's doing that from Pokemon, but Pokemon's done that, Digimon's done that, and lo even Bethesda has done that before as well. We see this all the time. So, that's why I don't think there should actually be a problem. What um, the people from Power World actually did, I've forgotten their name. I'll quickly put it up here if I can remember their name. But uh, yeah, what the people did from Power World is they took the idea of Pokemon and just said, right, what do we want to do with it? We basically want to be able to create a workforce so we can then use people to build, to create create their own things. They want people to fight alongside with their Pokemon. We want to give them guns because 
Americans like shooting things. Yay! <laughs> and that is that, that is verbatim quote. They, they actually put guns in there because they said, and I quote, Americans like shooty things. <laughs> so, but yeah, we like shooty things. I've always said, I always do say, it. one thing that is a true mark of a proper game is A, to, to have things to shoot and have things to shoot things with. Once you've got those two things, you've got a women in combination right there. So, yeah, that's how I see the Power Welders going. And... But it's not just the single solo player adventures that you guys can do out there. We also, you can also purchase a, your own server, or you can make your own server. But if you're using your own server, you need a dedicated computer to be able to use that. However, one of my colleagues actually got one of his own servers. He paid for a rented server for about a week, just so that we can just play around with it as a group. And we had some pretty good fun times in there. So one of the things that he managed to do in this in this server was um, he built himself a nice arena because he wanted to create a nice little combat arena where people from all over would come and battle their Pokemon together. I mean, pals together, and have a good old right royal fight. I still think that they had made a little bit of a mistake of making the entire thing out of wood, but hey, that's the aesthetics that he went through, and I'm sure that. It would be a great aesthetics when it goes up in flames. But yeah. So tell me, what do you think about this? This little arena that he created. He spent like a good couple of uh, days. Months. <laughs> no. He spent a good couple of days creating this little uh, this little uh, thing here. Um, just so that we can get a few people just coming in and banning out together. And I think that's pretty damn cool. That you can actually do about that. But what do you guys think? Would you like to see more of this arena? Would you want to see people fighting it out in there? Would you want to join in and be one of the people fighting in the arena? Let us know, see what you think. Can we get enough votes or enough up, up funds or people saying that they want to do that? We might actually have to uh, start over and actually create it. Although I don't know about how we can transfer these from server to server because I'm sure that the time has run out by now by the time this has come on but yeah well I think I've said pretty much all that I have wanted to say I don't know why I was going through this at 100 miles an hour I guess I'm just pretty nervous trying to see if I can get this you this channel back up and running again because I have been off for a fair bit and I want to really get this channel back up and running again so hopefully you can you will be seeing more of me more of me and more of the hat <laughs> well still the hat's quite good quite nice but uh oh yeah. so that looks awful why that maybe i should get rid of the string maybe i should get rid of the string gets in the way but yeah Hopefully you've enjoyed watching this as much as I've done in creating this. Hopefully I'll be able to get some more videos out. Maybe I'll be doing some more shorts. Maybe I'll be doing more stuff about Star Citizen. Because Star Citizen look, looks like it's going to be a really good year for Star Citizen. And maybe I'll be doing some more VR stuff. Because don't forget we've now got the Quest 3 headset that's come out. And with the Quest 3 headset we're going to be doing a lot of uh, more VR stuff. Especially VR stuff that's uh, on Steam. I saw this one called Space Truckers, which, uh, or truck, Space Truck Simulator. Look out for space, more VR stuff coming up in the future. So, hope you enjoyed watching this as much as I've done in creating this. Guys, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys out there.